Hello everyone, I am from K4 Metrics and in this video I will be showing you how to execute a glyph script in the terminal or the command line to generate a grid in point wise without opening the graphical user interface. Glyph is the scripting language for point wise. It is an extension to the TCL programming language that allows access to the commands and entities of point wise applications. So here is a script that I will be using for this video. So what this script does is it opens up point wise and it uses the create grid shape option to create a box and the grid type here is specified as unstructured. So once this block is created, so then it is solved in the unstructured solver or the grid solve menu. And under the T-Rex tab, the maximum layers is specified as 1000. And under the boundary conditions tab, a new boundary condition is added, that is the wall boundary condition. And here is the value of delta S that is specified or the first cell height. And here are the list of domains that will be assigned to this wall boundary condition. So now once this is done, it will initialize the block and the volume mesh is generated. And then it will save it as the .pw file in the location that you have specified in the script. Now in order to execute this, you have to specify the path for the pointwise file that is located in the pointwise installation folder. Specify a B flag and specify the path for the script that you are executing. So I have opened up a terminal and I have specified the path for the pointwise file, a B flag and the path of the glyph script. So now I'll press enter and pointwise will generate the grid and it will save the grid as a dot pw file. So this is the pointwise github page where you can find many glyph scripts or templates for you to create your own script. Alternately, you can record your grid generation process in pointwise and use that as a reference for your script. Pointwise also supports Python, TCL, Perl, etc. So if you are familiar with those languages, you can use them to create your script. So uh, earlier we had done a video on executing Python scripts in pointwise. So I will leave uh, the link for that video in the description. So this concludes our video, stay tuned for more.